Look at that. Total protection. This is the tricky part. I mean, once once this is done, this sandwich part, it's pretty much downhill. So I guess I just have to take one of these off and just make four of them. So this is uh, this part. It's just riveted in right here. There it goes. Got it. Okay. I think I should clamp this down and then use my jigsaw to come in from over here. Like here. And just go straight in and then make this cut with this thing secure onto the board. And do all the cuts right now. And then after that just jigs jigsaw it. Well, I found these clamps in the closet. These things look like they'll, they'll do the trick. Shoot, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay, I gotta scratch a line with a with an exacto knife. So I'll put a new blade on this thing. There. Oh, it worked. Fantastic. Just make sure your mark goes all the way to the end. All right. Success. There it is. All right. I get my saw. You see it? the line like that I just need my jigsaw with the new blade get a head start with this now it's all about the jigsaw oh yeah that's a lot better with that new blade look at that See, I got it supported to this side. Look, supported on the bucket. My first one, check it out. Wow, wow, wow. I think three times is it should be good enough. Okay, so I gotta drill these two holes and these two holes. I guess I'm just going to eyeball these things. So it's just a little paint thinner and some fingernail action. She does the trick. This one's done. And then of course you want to, after this, you want to uh, wash off with some soap and water. Okay guys, I just, I just sprayed these things down. And check how this repels water. Look at that. So wood definitely doesn't do this. So this is definitely an upgrade from wood, absolutely. This is a thousand times more durable than wood, without a doubt. Look at, just beautiful. Okay. Let's go in. It's not easy. God, doesn't this look cool? Look at that. God, I'm so proud of this. Wow, love it, love it. The reason why I like this uh, polyurethane stuff is that it just lasts forever. It's so durable, you know? That's why, that's why I love it. Um, and also it looks cool. Look at that. Looks so cool. Unlike the uh, birch plywood, like this, look, look, look at this crap. Look at this, compared to that. I mean, it's like, this just looks like something out of a junkyard or something like that. But man, this is, oh, 
awesome loving it you just want it tight enough so it doesn't separate from the metal there like that there that's it done this side's done this side I see I pulled it away from the metal right here ready to install okay step one would be to fasten this rod Does that look cool or what? It's a stainless steel washer and nut. I think this is stainless steel as well. I'm not sure though. So I do here, just take this. You want it snug so these things can't like move freely. Look at that. Look how neat that is. So you just kind of move it and just it just locks in place by itself. By just keeping these things snug. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I am so happy with this. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Oh my God, this is amazing. Wow. Okay, yes, look at this. Check that out. It just, it just, boom, it just stays right in position, done. This is amazing. I'm so happy. Okay, I screwed up. This foot piece should have went in first. So I have to take this one back out. Okay, now I'm gonna install the sun oven foot supports. So what you do is you just get these two thin washers. There's two of them. You stick them in like this. You get this thing, which goes all the way through. So you see, I don't even know where to get these. Go like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, for the other side, same thing. Chubber washers. The foot. Look at that. Just move it. 
with these rubber washers, you, you, you don't even need to screw with these things. It just works. It just works just by moving it. It just and it just stays in place. Boom. The wind hits. It probably just go like this a little bit. Okay. Let's see the weight on this thing. Oh, this is too tight. I got it too tight here. Shoot. So this rod right here should be straight. It shouldn't, shouldn't be bowed at all. You just go like this. Take your ratchet. See, it tightens up right here when you tighten this. So inside here can be a little, the, the trick is have the inside here a little loose, a little loose. Maybe like a eighth inch gap where the nut hits the washer, have like an eighth inch gap and then just tighten it up. There. This. These straps are just like riveted on. Just a little, looks like an angled aluminum. Oh, you know what? This is. Let's see here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't have. I don't have a nut over here. So I got to redo this one. Okay. Okay, learn from my mistakes. I should have a nut and washer right here. So now I gotta take all this off here, pull this out, put in a lock nut and a washer. Oh, don't forget the washer. Okay, it's in place. As you see, I got the washer, the lock nut in there. So having this nut here pushes this support out so the reflectors are able to fold. See that? If you didn't have this nut here, the mount would be tilted inwards. And when you came time to want to close the reflectors up, it would hinder um, these edges being able to close. All right. So let's see here. All right. First, we got the two rubber washers. Close, check it out. 